All right, so um, go ahead and do this video a little bit differently today. <laughs> this is gonna be me on my way to the gym here. Uh, anyway, I'm. Th this video is gonna be on the whole. Uh, was that the Ocasio Cortez with the three hundred dollar haircut and color or whatever the hell that was? Now here's the thing. I think a lot of people on the left are being disingenuous when they know. They know, and I, I'm gonna say they know, but they know that it isn't purely that she got a $300 haircut. Because to be honest with you, in the mo in, you know, mostly I can give a damn about that. You know, I can give a damn if someone got a $300 haircut. Now I will. Now, now part of it I would have a problem with is because she has taxpayer money. She has a job that's funded by taxpayers. 170,000 some odd dollars a year hollering about her student loan debt all while getting $300 haircuts. Now, okay, whatever. That's 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 bad enough in my in my Frank and Oz opinion. But now when you stack it on top of you're sitting there, she's sitting there talking about how bad it is for all of America. And uh, and the underprivileged and the the, the privileged and that or uh, the people that that you know the marginalized communities and and all these other things, Green New Deal and all that. She's talking all that crap and uh, income inequality and 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 things like that and the wealthy and blah. Okay, here's the thing. You know what happens when the wealthy the wealthy actually go and get their hair done for three hundred dollars. See now she's. She's talking at, she's ta she's the one talking about all that stuff. But then you'll have people on the left sit back and holler about, well, Betsy DeVos has boots. I said, Betsy DeVos isn't, as much as I kind of disagree with her on some things, she's not the one over there hollering about how unfair and things like that. She's not the one talking about these issues. That's the problem. It's kind of like when I've said before, that you'll have people howling about white supremacy and a system of white supremacy and white uh, oppression and, and this and that. And you'll have people howling about that stuff all while laying up with white and black uh, uh, or, or, uh, or white uh, one, women or men. How, how, does, how does the kitchen table discussions go when it, it, you know, in situations like that when you've been howling about how uh, negatively about white, white people all day long all while in love or 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 always seem to be with a white person it doesn't make any sense i don't have a problem with anybody that dates outside your could care less but to sit back and and you're, you're hollering about how negative uh, white people same with aoc endorses bernie sanders she steadily sits back uh, uh ilhan omar rashida talib like that want to say all of them, all of them, sit back and holler about negative, and you know, the white supremacy and white suppression and this and that. All while Ilhan Omar cheats on her black husband with a white man. All while AOC has a white has a white boyfriend. All while they all put uh, are voting to put a white uh, or uh, backing a, a straight white male to be into in power. I don't understand this. How how do people not understand these things? That's the problem with people saying, or that's the problem with. Her wanting a haircut that's three hundred some odd, uh, three a haircut and color whatever it was three hundred dollars, and I want you to know there's people going to bat for her on this talk. Well, she she deserves it. I was like, you know, I, I I'm just blown away that you have people that are that have such cognitive dissonance that they'll sit back and as long as it's somebody on their side that they will you know and they and let's just say they're poor they can't actually afford a three hundred dollar haircut they'll they'll fight for her right to actually be able to do something that they can't even do all while saying that she that she cares about the uh, um, uh, um, the the underprivileged and the people that don't have you know that um, that don't have money or whatever she's they'll sit there and say she really cares about us all while Watching her from the window of whatever <laughs> stylist salon, talking about, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you see her with that three hundred dollar cut. Oh no, she deserves it. I mean, I know I can't get mine done for not even, you know, for, but but it's okay because she deserves it. They're literally championing someone's the the privileged people in America. Absolutely insane. 
And then to, you know, I guess the cherry on top, that was the icing. I guess the cherry on top is she tries to go out and make it, well, it's because women have to pay more for, uh, for to get their hair cut or get their hair done. I was like, you know what? I, I, I quit. So if there was a white man that came in with the exact same haircut and wanted the exact same thing that she that she has done her hair, then suddenly he's going to have to pay a little less. Well, why don't she get her hair cut, you know? Why does she not get her hair cut and, or get a style that's as cheap as a man can get? Why not? That's all she has to do. It's stupid. We could, we could claim, they'll claim anything. It's, it's sexist, racist, sexist, bigot, homophobe. They'll, they'll, they'll claim anything. If you if you say anything negatively about them. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and see